I sure will. Anybody who is just joining for arms, yay, good. Um, anyone who is just joining for arms, you need a set of dumbbells and you can double them up. We're gonna do some single side stuff. Uh, or you can have one heavier kettlebell dumbbell laundry jug and one lighter set. So you pick whatever you need. Our structure is four moves, 45 seconds a move. So about 15, 12 to 15 reps if we're controlled, um, two rounds of each set, okay? Um, and I'll say that one more time as people come in. So you need, as you're entering, I know I see, keep seeing people, we get to see people pop in. Um, as you're popping in, as you're popping in, you need one set of dumbbells. Sorry if you've heard this a thousand times, you can mute me. Um, you need one set of dumbbells. You can double them up for a single side. You could also grab a heavier dumbbell or a kettlebell or a laundry jug or something with weight and then a set of dumbbells. Okay. Um, all right. So if you stay, if you're staying, you're pretty warm, but those of you who are just joining, I want to warm up. So I want you to find about hip width apart, little bend in your knees. Bring one arm up and around, the other arm up and around. Big swims. Welcome, welcome, welcome to arms and abs. It's structured very similarly to our Tuesday workout for legs. So we're in tandem. Good, reverse your direction. Good, a couple more here. And then start to feel a little wider than hip width. Let's bring left arm up and over, big side body reach and pull. Should feel really good, especially if we're sitting a little bit more. We do a lot of spinal flexion and extension forward and back, but lateral flexion and extension of the spine is a little more rare. Good, switch your sides. So we side body stretch. Big stretch through your external obliques, your internal obliques. Take a couple more here. Arms come out to a T, big T rotation. I want you to try to anchor down into your legs and just rotate your upper body. Good, we'll take a couple more here. And rest, couple shoulder rolls. All right, I think we're ready to get started, you guys. So we have 45 seconds on, about 15 seconds switch between. I'm only gonna demo one move at a time. That's all you really need. Um, I have one dumbbell and one set of light dumbbells, but I'll show you how it looks when you double up your um, weights as well. So first move for 45 seconds. I want your left foot forward or one foot forward and the opposite hand has your weight. I'm gonna show you this way actually. So you'll be here, you're gonna hinge at your hips. We have a bent row, so elbow comes nice and high. We're working our back, our big muscles on our back. All right, 45 seconds, ready, in three, in two, and one, let's go right here. So big pull, elbow stays nice and close to the body and shoulder stays square. I want you to exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower, thinking slower on the way down than on the way up. So as your weight comes up, I want you to try to keep your shoulders really square. Yeah, good, yes. Yes, Meg, yes, yes, I see you, I see you. It's like the Brady Bunch sort of with the boxes, you know, it's pretty funny. Good, we're here, that's 30 seconds. I won't crack too many jokes, I promise. Maybe I will, I can't promise anything. Good, we're here for 10 more seconds. Big pull, slow on the way down. For five, for three, two, and rest. Good, switch your sides, we're right into that other side. So opposite side, ready, in three. Nice strong core, hinge at your hips, in two, and one more on, let's go. So elbow comes high, big squeeze between the shoulders and both shoulders stay square. So I want you to think about pulling with your lat, the muscle that hugs your lower rib cage into the middle of your back to your spine. And then you exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Yes. Can you make it a little slower on the way down? And can you brace your core even more? So your lower body is steady. Stay with me, you have 10 more seconds here, come on. Don't stop now. We have five seconds, can you do one more rep? And rest, good. You do not need your dumbbells or dumbbell. We have a push up to a tap. So from push up position, from your knees or your toes, one push up, right hand taps, 
left toes, we're back. Push up, left hand to right toes. Find push up position. 45 seconds begins in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Big push up. Right foot towards left, right hand towards left foot, and then switch. Your push up can take place from your knees or your toes. You can also completely omit your push up. But your belly button pulls right into spine. Elbows nice and wide as you come down. Shoulders right over wrists, and then belly button into spine, you guys. Stay with me here. We're almost there, almost there. Under 10 seconds. Can we get two more? Give me one more, one more. And rest. Good, make your way back to your feet. Grab your pair of dumbbells. Both light dumbbells. Our fourth move is a rear fly. So arms open up. We stay hinged. Thanks, Julie. Both, yeah. I'll give you your modification for bad wrist as we get going. So a little bend in your knees. We open and close. Ready? Three, two, and one. 45 seconds. We open wide. You can always drop to back knee as well. So on your taps, if you have bad wrists, or if it bothers your wrist for a push-up tap, you can do push-ups from your weights. You can also hold a forearm plank at that time. So forearm plank is your option, squeeze through your chest or from your weights. Good question there, you guys. Hinge a little deeper, squeeze between your shoulder blades. Breathe here. Last 10 seconds, sit your booty back. Shoulders down, come on, don't stop now. Stay with this, stay with this for three, two, and rest, good. Roll your shoulders back, shake it out. Ditch your lighter set of dumbbells. If you need a quick sip, you can grab a quick sip. We are into round two, single arm row. This time, if you can remember, just start with your opposite arm. It's whatever arm you did not start with. We've got 10 seconds, and we have round two. So that hinged hip, single arm row, little bend in your knees. You can always drop all the way back. It's really hard for me to show from here. You can also kneel if you want, if that helps support you. Ready? One, on three, two, and one, let's go. So big row, elbow high. I shouldn't get this close to the camera because then I see my hair and I'm like, oh, hey, I'll step back a little. I want elbow in. I want shoulders square to the ground. And I want you to think quicker up, slower on the way down. So really control. Nice soft bend in your front knee. Really squeeze, feel that squeeze at the top. Stay with me of 10 seconds. Really feel your back muscles work here, you guys. You are doing great. Really control this for five, for three, two, and rest, good. Whoo, shake it out. Switch your sides. Opposite leg forward. Hinge at your hips, ready. We're on in three. In two, and one, let's go. So big pull, slow on the way down. You can always double up your weight. If you doubled up and you find your form is compromised, just ditch one of your weights. I'd rather you keep moving than stop moving with a heavier weight. You breathe, exhale, inhale on the way down. Belly button draws into spine. You guys were in that home stretch of this move. Yeah, yeah, final 15 seconds. Maybe we get about three more reps. Really controlled. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and rest, good. Ditch that weight, all right. Push up position or plank position. You might hold your plank. That is absolutely fine. Ready, in three, in two, and one, so we can do a push up to a tap, push up and then opposite side. Second option would be to drop to your elbows and then I want you to push up through your shoulder blades and then kind of release, push up, release. You'll feel your abs, you'll feel your chest. You could also take that push up out and just bring hips high. So you pick in your workout what you need. We are so close. 
Good, final 15 seconds here. Maybe we can get about three more solid reps. Really control, nice strong core, you breathe. For five, for three, two, and rest. Good, slow to rise. Roll your shoulders back. Grab your dumbbells in your lighter set. We have rear delt flies. Hinge at the hips. I like to take hip width apart and hinge from here, but you can always take one foot back. It's totally up to your body what you need. Ready. We're on in three, in two, and one. Let's go. So slight bend in your elbows like you're going to give somebody a bear hug. I don't know about you. I'm missing lots of bear hugs right now. So that's the feeling. If you forgot what that feels like, it's like you're hugging a big tree, right? You hinge a little deeper. A big bend in your elbows. And then I, again, I want you to think quicker up, slower on the way down. Really control the ass. Can you hinge a little more? Bring this load into your back and the backs of your shoulders rather than the tops of your shoulders. We are so close. Last 10 seconds right here. Yeah, 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 for five, for three, two, and rest. Good, you guys, quick sip of water. One round done, one, uh, one and a half, one, one inch to go standing. You need your single dumbbell or double up your dumbbells. You can hear okay, thumbs up, you guys. Hear fine, okay, good. Single arm. Bicep curl, a little bend in your knees. Corner curl, palm comes out to the sides of the room. I want to touch your quad. You're gonna to touch your shoulder. Quad, shoulder, okay? We have 45 seconds. Pick an arm, pick your favorite arm. Ready, three, two, and one, let's go. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, but I want you to really eliminate momentum. So if it helps to bring your opposite hand behind and really anchor your elbow in, you can. Slower again on the way down. So let's really resist. You exhale as you lift. And at any time, if you need to ditch one of your weights, just ditch one of your weights. You exhale and inhale. I'm looking at a second hand clock and I'm pretty sure I know where we started. Just kidding. We have 10 more seconds. Breathe. For three. Two, and switch your arms. Good, so double up. Other side, if you have dumbbells and it feels a little uncomfortable, I cross mine, oh, if I can dumbbell, and then I put a thumb on one side. Oh, there, I was like not even in the camera. Thumb on one side, that helps. Corner curls, other arm, less than your arm, ready, three, two, and one, we're on. You exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Nice, strong core here. Belly button draws into spine. Can you give me a soft bend in your knees? So sometimes we like to straighten our legs, especially as we fatigue and lock out our knees. I want you to stay nice and planted, nice and grounded through your legs to really isolate through your bicep. Exhale, inhale. Good, we have about 15 more seconds. Slow it down. Good, for five, for three, two, and rest. Good, we're gonna take one heavy dumbbell or both weights, come overhead for overhead tricep extension. So elbows come in nice and steady. Ready, in three, in two, and one, here we go. So, feet hip width apart, or you can stagger your feet here. Wherever you are, I want you to tuck your hips under. So think, squeeze your glutes, and then lift your chin slightly. Yes. So elbows stay in. It's almost like you could feel your biceps brush your ears. Oh no, I keep going too close. There, but I feel like I get, can see you if I'm a little closer. There. Good, we have about 10 more seconds, you guys. Come on, come on, don't stop now. Stay with this. I got you, you got me, let's go. For five, for three, two, and whoo, rest. 
All right. Okay, if you have a little issue or if any pain in your wrists, grab your dumbbells. If not, we're coming to the ground for tricep dips. So you can either grab your dumbbells. Um, I'm gonna come to the wood floor so you can see a difference. Dumbbells. You're gonna drop your bottom down and up. Little tiny tricep dip. If that does not feel good, you can always bring it to a tricep kickback. Okay, ready, in three, in two, and one more on. I'm gonna watch you guys as you go, yeah. So your fingertips face your heels, good. Except for I can't see most of you, so I'm gonna come down to the floor too. Uh, yeah, good. Your fingertips are facing your glutes or your heels, and you have a bend in your elbows. So the bend comes from your elbows to initiate. Elbows squeeze together and back, yes. Good, we're well over halfway, you guys. Final 10 seconds here. Maybe you hold it halfway down, maybe you pulse. For five, four, three, two, and rest, good. Shake it out, make your way to your feet. Round two, second final round of these moves. You guys are doing great. If you're watching the screen, I was like, I'm gonna watch you guys do tricep dips. And I got to the screen and everyone's like this. And I was like, okay, I will, I'll, I'll join you on the floor. It was pretty funny. No, you're good, you're good. I'm just teasing. All right, round two, less your least favorite hand, your arm. We have bicep curls, a little bit in your knees. I'll get serious, I'll get serious for the last little bit of class. We curl, bicep curl in three. When our beat drops, how about? Yeah, in three, two, one, right here, we curl up. Slow on the way down. Little quicker up, slower down. Maybe you stagger your feet if that feels good. Maybe you keep your feet hip with the part by your tailbone tucks under. You exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. You guys look so good, really, really good. Great job. Stay with this here. Can you go even slower on the way down? So really control. Yes. Final 10 seconds here. Let's get three really, really controlled reps. For five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, switch your arms. Opposite side. Breathe. One big, nice, deep breath. Ready. In three, in two, and one more on, let's go. Curl, press. Good. Yeah, yes, 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 I love it. Greg, I see your jug of water. You're looking great. Really curl it in. Really control on the way down. And when you get stronger, you just fill it with sand, right? Yep. Good, we're over halfway, you guys. You exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Try not to swing, stay really controlled. Give your all the way to the end right here. Last 10 seconds, we breathe. Good, for five, ooh, let's get one more. For three, two, oh, and rest. Really, really good, all right. Maybe your heavy dumbbell or keep your, your pair. Overhead tricep extension ready. In three, in two, and one, let's go right here. Elbows squeeze in, so try no space between your biceps and your ears. You exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. That's our halfway, you guys. This is our final set of overhead extensions. You are doing great. Finish all the way through, chin up, chest up. You breathe, you exhale. We're almost there, last 10 seconds. Come on, don't stop now. Drive it up, yes. Come on, come on for five, for three, two. Give me one more strong and rest. Really, really good. All right, to your seat. Fingertips face your glutes. Tricep dips ready in three, in two, and one, so little bend of your elbows. 
Fingertips face your heels. Can you shift your weight back over your hands? Yes, good. For those of you doing extensions or little pulses back, they look really good. For those of you on the floor, really bend your elbows. I hope your triceps are burning. My triceps are dying. We're almost there. We're well over halfway. You breathe. In about 15 seconds. Maybe you hold it low. Hold it low. For 10. For 5. 4. 3. 2. And rest. Woo! Shake it out. Stand up. All right. We have a shoulder burnout and then we move to abs. That's where we are. So quick sip of water, your light dumbbells. Meet me on your feet standing. We have four moves, 30 seconds of move. So four moves, 30 seconds of move. We'll go right through, take a rest and we will do it one time through. All right, first move, lateral raise, just to shoulder height, slow on the way down. Shoulder height. I want you to think about turning your pinkies up slightly as you come. So a little turn down. Ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're on. Option here is to bring your elbows to 90 degrees. Make it a shorter lever. And then slow your momentum. So slow on the way down. Really resist gravity. Exhale as you lift only to shoulder height. Inhale as you lower. For five, we take it to a front raise in three, in two, and one. We come to the front, front raise right here. You exhale as you lift just to shoulder height here. Can you bend into your knees so there's no momentum at all? You're just really controlling. This also works for the kid, Jess. You can grab Ben and lift him to the front. Good, you exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Final 10 seconds, really control on the way down. So I want you to think about the down motion more than the up. For three, two, and the rest, we go right into an upright row. Elbows come high. We're on, 30 seconds here. So your hands stop about at your collarbone, but your elbows come higher, yeah. So your wrists are always below your elbows. All right, we have one final move for shoulders. One final move for arms. Let's do this, let's finish up. In 10 seconds, we move to an overhead press. So we'll flip our palms, we'll push our weights overhead. It won't be with the beat as much as it kills some of us. We've got three more seconds here. Three, two, and give me one more. Turn your palms, we press overhead and come down. There we go. Just to 90 degrees. A little closer. So you press overhead. Just to 90 with your elbows. Yes. About 10 more seconds here, we're so close. Yeah, 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 don't stop now, don't stop now for five, for three, two, and rest, good, shake it out. Grab us some water. You need your mat or just a spot on the carpet for our final little bit, which is out. All right, we have 30 seconds of moves. I'm gonna move my mat this away. Okay, uh, back a little bit more. 30 seconds of moves, two rounds of all four moves, okay? That's how we finish. On your back, we have a tuck in to start. So, we come straight in, out, in, out, in, or, thanks, Julie, or we can move your knee up. 30 seconds here. You can also keep your heels on the ground and make this a basic crunch. You pick what you need. I can tell I'm getting tired from getting softer. Okay, let's do this. Let's knock out core and we'll stretch and we'll be good to go. Ready? In three, the ups are tuck ins. In two, and a one, we're on. So we're here, or we're here. 30 seconds, right here. I want you to really 
control on the way down. Really big ribs to hips. 10 seconds here, you guys. We will stay in the air. We reach towards our heels in five, in three, two, and one. Feet stay up. We reach to the heels or arms by the ears. You're on 30 seconds here. Can you keep your heels right above your hips? You can also bring your knees to tabletop. Wherever you are, really feel your squeeze. Really use your exhale. Final 10 seconds here. For three, two, and one. Feet come up and then down into a leg raise. Up and down, we're on 30 seconds right here. We are so close. About two and a half active minutes of work right here. Stay with me about 10 more seconds. We have bicycle crunches as our final movement. For three, two, and right in bicycle crunches, left to right, left, right to left. You can also bring your feet down and take your upper body or alternate your legs. So you pick. 30 seconds, here we go one more time. And we are out, we stretch, we're done. So let's finish stronger than we started right here, you guys. The hard part is over. You made it, you got here. We don't have much left. Stay here for five, right back to tuck-ins. In three, in two, and why do you go tuck in or be up? Final 30 seconds of this move. You breathe, you drive. Yeah, yeah, good. Stay with this, stay with this. Last 10. For five, four, three, two, and feet come in the air. Reach for those heels or crunch up. 30 seconds, we're on. 90 seconds left in your class, under 90. Rips your hips. You breathe. We are so, so close. Our butt ups to leg lift comes next. Hands can be underneath your glutes. They can be to the side. We're there in three. We're there in two. And we want to lift up. Leg raise. Drive up. Leg raise, 30 seconds. You are under one minute. That's our under one minute mark. Can you push your lower back down? Option here to bend your knees and tap your heels. You do what you need in your body. We are so close. 10 seconds here. Bicycles are how we finish. For five, for three, two, and bicycles we're in. Yeah, yeah, you guys, 20 seconds to go. Opposite elbow towards opposite knee, or open up your elbows. Stop your knee right at your hip. Make your upper body work a little harder, under 10. Under five, for three, two, and rest knees, lean to chest. Hold it here for one moment. Yeah, and then open your arms up, open your legs up. Big full body stretch. If I were at home, I would probably just stay right here. But I'm not at home, and you're with me, so we're not gonna stay on the ground, right? Come up to your knees when you're ready. Bring your hands forward. Really, really good job. We made it. Uh, then open up your chest. Really, really good work. With your hands behind you, they can be at your glutes. They can be clasped. Bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. And switch your sides. It's so tempting to skip our stretch. Let's keep it right here to finish out. One arm across the chest, shoulder down away from your earlobe. Really try to pull your shoulder actively down 
and then forward and try to grab the middle of your hand, the middle of your arm between your wrist and your elbow. Just to avoid your elbow joint itself. Good, switch your sides. Shoulder down away from your earlobe. Breathe. Good, let's bring one arm up and over. Tricep stretch overhead. Our final couple of stretches here, you are free to go. Thank you so, so much for joining me today, Thursday. You guys crushed it. I hopefully will see you tomorrow. I teach cardio kickboxing at noon and I teach bar at one. So join me for something. And then the tandem class to this class, the uh, full body on Sunday, will be a different, but we'll hit all body, full body strength. Good, release, bend your knees. As a team, let's take our final inhale. Exhale down, questions, comments, feedback. Don't hesitate to reach out, you guys. Really, really good job today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you. So I'll stay on for a minute if you have a question or anything, but I will see you soon. Really, really good work. Bye. Mwah. This is fun. I love seeing these. Yes.